Oh, I love this. This is so exciting. Oh my gosh, I'm getting nervous. Uh, let's see how this turns out. It's so echoing here, you guys. This is my very first video I'm filming in my new place. Now, this is a temporary studio because I am going to be getting a separate studio outside of my house. I am literally sitting on an upside down trash can right now. This video is gonna be kind of echoey, so we're just gonna have to, we're just gonna have to deal with that together, together. We will get through it. I'm gonna be coloring my hair today and it's gonna be similar to what I already had, but slightly different. Like so many of you asked me what shades I used in my hair and I'm switching it up a little bit this time. Let me show you what I was gonna do and maybe I'll do it next time. But I just think that this blue hasn't faded out quite enough to get away with this. Oh, it's heaven. Oh my gosh, we have a protein shake in the studio, y'all. This has already been shaken up downstairs, so don't you worry. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you should have been here a while ago. It was a mess. Sorry, you can't take me anywhere. I need like a bib for anything and everything that I drink or eat. <clears throat> A lot of people ask me if I use shampoo after I color my hair. I usually do because Arctic Fox's formula is, our formula is like so thick that it's like a conditioner that it, especially if you have extensions like this, um, it's hard to get it out unless you actually shampoo. So I wouldn't use like a clarifying shampoo by any means. I would use that before you color, but after it's, 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 I think it's a great idea to use shampoo personally, unless you wanna sit under the water forever. Let's go ahead and mix the color. Today I'm gonna to be using my hair color line, Arctic Fox. Today I'm gonna to be using four of our shades out of our range, and I'm gonna show you how I mix those up right now. Let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start with Arctic Mist here because I want this to be like a really light shade. So I always like to start with Arctic Mist when I'm doing a light shade because the majority of it needs to be much lighter. So we're gonna take this annoying little motherfucker off right here. I'm basically gonna empty like the entire thing into this bowl. Cause I'm gonna save whatever I don't use and put it back in here and use it as conditioner in the shower. Next, I'm gonna take Blue Jean Baby. This is a really amazing navy blue. I'm gonna start with like just a tiny bit of this because I don't know how much I'm gonna need. You can always add more, but you can't remove it. So next, I'm gonna add a little bit of Periwinkle. Recently, I've just been doing Girls Night in with this, but I wanna add a little bit of Periwinkle in there. Just see what happens. Sorry about these guys. We had to add these to the bottles. It's just, it's, we just, it's something we had to do, but it's so annoying. And then, Okay, so that's about what we have and I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. Oh, don't you guys love that that I grabbed a blue brush because I feel like you would have been on my nuts if this was like an orange brush or something. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna add more of everything except Arctic Mist and then I think we'll be good to go. Bingo. And we are ready to color. Okay, now that we have our color all mixed up. Oh, it's so pretty. So before you color, because Arctic Fox is pretty thick, you wanna work in small sections. So I like to take a brush and go through and make sure that all of the hair is brushed through. You don't want any tangles in the middle of while you're coloring. I was actually gonna get like an office space to film in, like kind of like a studio, but in Nashville, they're so expensive right now. Like it's cheaper to just literally go rent an entire other house. And then I would have like a garage and all that. So I'm gonna try and do that. But first I need to get back to making videos because it's been a while. So now that that's brushed out, I am gonna just go ahead and section this off. What I'm gonna do, you guys, just so you know, I can't get my whole head in the frame because this room's not big enough to move my camera back, but we'll make it work. Like Tim Gunn says, make it work. So let's see, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do blue all the way down and then I'm gonna leave about this much blonde at the tips and like let it fade into blonde. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Let's get started. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set, split that like so, and then I'm gonna put a bunch of this up so it's out of the way. Okay, that's, that's so not gonna work. Work with me here. Okay, I'm gonna pull out some gloves. I have like light nail, um, nail polish on right now. So what, do you, what would you guys think of, um, what if Arctic Fox did a nail polish line and the polishes matched our hair color shades? Would that be cool? I was like thinking about that. I actually thought about that like a year ago and I'm revisiting. Let me know what you guys think. 
If you're into that, leave it in the comments below. Oh my gosh, I'm getting nervous. Oh, this is gonna be a pain not to get it on the very bottom. You know what does help if you wanna do that is get a, a bowl of like Arctic mist and put that on there and put it on your ends first. That usually works really well. I should probably be doing that right now. I should probably, yeah, I, I need to take a little break and go do that. Okay, let's just get this going first. Okay, I'm gonna go get another bowl and put Arctic mist in there so I can do exactly what I'm saying. I'll be right back. All right, I got a extra separate bowl of just Arctic Mist and a lot of the times I like to just put this on the bottom of the hair because it kind of prevents other color from sticking to it as much. And it's easier to do a bit of a color melt like so with it. Just make sure you have a towel to wipe your hands off in between the shades. And now you wanna make sure you fully saturate. Like if you think it's saturated, like when you think you're done blending, blend more, same thing. Usually I have a mirror set up in my bathroom where I can see the back of my head so I can check everything after, but I don't have that set up in my new house yet. So this is gonna be real fun. I'm just kind of going off based like what I could see here in the mirror. I also don't know if you guys noticed, but I did put tinsel back in my hair. Feels good to have it back. If you're going like this and pieces of hair get stuck on there, twist out like that. That is the easiest way to like, make sure it doesn't get on like the bottom if you're doing like an ombre. I'm really good at twisting my hair up and putting it back, can't you tell? <laughs> Let's try this again, see if we can do this a little neater. Part, I'm just gonna color all of it because I just don't want the disconnect between my real hair and my extensions to be super obvious. So I'm just gonna color literally all of this hair that's mine on top. <laughs> I'm trying to open this clip and there's hair color all over my glove and it's so slippery. gonna get through this whole thing without smacking a bunch of color on my face. Nope. Okay, so we have just finished the entire head. Oh, <laughs> we got a straggler. Where's the rest of this extension? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, please. Okay, now, we have done the entire head and I'm gonna let this sit on here for about 40 minutes. Most of you probably already know this, but with Arctic Fox hair color, you can literally leave this on for like five hours if you want. It is like a conditioning mask for your hair. So it's gonna, it's not gonna damage your hair in any way, shape or form. So I will check back with you guys once I shampoo using the Mika Sextra shampoo and then I will, we'll finish styling it together. Uh, let's see how this turns out. I've never done blonde tips in my entire life. So this is something new. Here is the final look. I did a bit of curl styling because there's actually a piece over here that is slightly splotchy. Like I missed a piece. So it's like slightly blonde in between. So this like hides that a little bit until I can fix it. But I absolutely love how this turned out. I don't think I've ever done a shade, like a color with blonde on the bottom ever. So this is something totally different for, for me. For me, I'm like looking over at my monitor. I've also had a little bit of wine, so <laughs> excuse me. I actually left this on my hair for like an hour and 15 minutes because I was cooking dinner. Oh, I love this. This is so exciting. It's like slightly different than what I had before. Still blue, still matches my hair. And I actually had these, um, these tinsels in my hair. So I was like, ah, oh, I can't, I feel like I can't really do like an orange or something like that. Cause like, I mean, they could look cool, but like, I like it to like all match. 
So let's finish with the styling. So I did use the uh, tex Texture Beach Look Shampoo in the shower. With this, you don't need a conditioner. This is kind of like a two-in-one moisturizing plus texturizing shampoo that doesn't dry your hair out. So I used this today. And then we're gonna go in with the Perk Up Dry Shampoo. And I know that my hair's not oily right now. I just shampooed, but this also gives you volume. So even if you don't have oily, oily hair, you can use this to give your hair like a bit of a perk up, a little bit of volume, and that's what we're gonna use it for today. And I'm just gonna kinda apply this all throughout because I want body everywhere. You can also like flip your hair upside down too if you want. Sometimes that's easier for people. And sometimes I like to put this through the ends too, just for extra body. Okay, next we're gonna use the Bushwick Beach No Salt Wave Spray. Now this stuff is very potent. So I'm gonna let you know, like the first time I used this, I used too much and my hair was way too gritty, way too texturized. Like a little bit goes a long way and it really works. But I'm gonna use a very, very little bit of this. Definitely like makes it stick where it needs to kind of, but it's not, it's not like, you know, hairspray. Um, but I use this kind of throughout. It just really gives that nice body and grit and texture that I'm looking for. When I have clean hair, my hair is like, like look how much body my hair already has. <laughs> this is crazy for my hair. I want that like second day, third day hair look. I'm gonna add a little bit to the root because this is perfect for teasing because it will help hold your tease in place. Then I'm gonna take my teasing comb just to finish her off and add a little bit of back combing towards the root. Yeah, this, I always like to give a little bit of extra volume at the root. Sometimes I like to break these up a little bit and this helps. Um, Arctic Fox Hair Colors has a lot of good, like, did I just say hair colors? Like my own company, I don't know how to say the name. I blame it on the wine. My, I don't know what I was saying. I, I left my dirty shirt on, oh my gosh, what? I'm a freaking trash monster. <laughs> Um, Arctic Fox hair color like has a lot of good oils in it too So sometimes if you have really thin fine hair you need to wash it a couple times to Weigh your hair down slightly if you don't get it out well enough I'm actually really sad I'm going to bed right now and don't have anywhere to go Thank you guys so much for watching and watching my first video in my new house and um, We will be back filming again soon I'm gonna be traveling for like a month or so But I'm gonna take my vlog camera and try and do like some videos like again the sound is not gonna be great but um, at least I'll get some up for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.